Good afternoon, everyone. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner, and I'm going to give you an update on my track phone. But let me start from the beginning, shall I? Why, of course. In September 2015, I bought a one-year service plan for my track phone. And everything worked great. It was wonderful. It was fantastic. It was marvelous. Okay. Then in December 2015, I traveled to Taylorville, Illinois to videotape the Festival of Lights. Now, if you haven't seen that video, go over to my YouTube channel, find that video, watch it, enjoy it. It was great. It was wonderful. It was fantastic. I'm glad I did it. But while I was in Taylorville, Illinois, I discovered that my track phone wasn't working correctly. So I bought a new track phone. And then I called up track phone to activate my new phone. And I told them to transfer everything from my old phone to my new phone. This included the telephone number from my old phone. And they did. And to make sure everything was working, I used my landline to call my new track phone to make sure everything was working kosher. And it was. Then around the 3rd of January, they shut off my service. No explanation, no nothing, they just shut it off. Now, I didn't know about this until January 15th. Why didn't I know? Because I don't normally use my track phone unless I'm traveling out of town or unless there's an emergency in our house. Okay. So, what happened around the 15th of January? Around the 15th of January, the sewer pipes under my house froze. Now the intake pipes were working fine. They're the ones that bring in the fresh water into my house. They were working fine, but the sewer pipes froze. So my sister was using my landline to call for help, and then I was going to use my track phone to call some other people. That's when I discovered I had no service. So with my computer in front of me, I have a laptop, and it, it, right in front of me I have a laptop, and I opened it up, and using the computer in front of me, I then used, or tried to use the track phone live chat. Four times I got disconnected from that. I said, that's enough. I'm not doing any more of that. So then, when my sister got off the phone, I then called track phone using my landline. I had to navigate ten menus just to get any customer service at all. That's outrageous. But then it got worse. Throughout this whole ordeal, most of the people I talked to, most of these customer service representatives, okay, hardly any of them could speak fluent English. I'm not kidding you. Only about two or three that I ever spoke to could speak fluent English. Most of them couldn't do that. So, there you go. Anyway, while I was talking to them, they first of all told me I had to have a new SIM card. Now keep in mind, I had this new phone for less than a month. Now I was going to have to have a new SIM card, and I was going to have to have a new phone number. Now hey, they had just transferred my old number. What? If you transfer my old phone number successfully, why would I have to have a new one? That was ridiculous. But anyway, after arguing with them for, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes or so, they finally somehow got my phone reactivated and my old phone number was restored. Like, well, great, this is great, fantastic, we're, we're on the way. A week later, they shut off my phone again. So, I wasn't going to use their live chat. After four failures, that was it. I wasn't going to do that. So once again, I had to navigate through ten menus to finally get somebody to speak to. And they told me I was going to have to have a new SIM card because this thing wasn't working. I'm sitting there going, you've got to be kidding me. So, they sent me a new SIM card. It took about a couple of days, but they finally sent me a new SIM card. Now... This is the SIM card that actually came with my phone. Okay? See the size? What did they send me? They sent me something that was twice as large. So I called them back up. And I said, okay, you got to send me another SIM card because th th this thing's the wrong size. And so they did. And so they sent me another one of these. 
And as soon as I got it, I put it in the phone. They tried to activate it, and they couldn't. It malfunctioned. I'm like, wait a minute. You just sent me a brand new SIM card, and it doesn't function out of the package? I'm not kidding you. They, 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 this is no joke. Okay? I want you to understand this. This is the envelope the first SIM card came in. This is the envelope that the second one came in. So, you would think this would be the end of the ordeal, right? Oh, no. they got to send me yet another SIM card. And I told him, I said, look, I said, it took me two days to get the last one. It took me two days to get the next one. Why don't you ship the next one to me overnight? Since you can't seem to get this right. No, oh, well, we can't do that. So what did they send me on the third try? Another one of these. That's right. Again, they sent me the wrong size SIM card. Well, about this point, I was completely fed up. I said, you mean to tell me you've got to send me yet another SIM card? And they said, yes. So they had to send me yet another SIM card. Well, finally, they got the right size. And finally today, they got it to work. But the only way they could get it to work was to give me a new phone number. I'm sitting there going, wait a minute, you guys successfully got my old phone number to work on this phone, and now you're telling me you can't? That's ridiculous. This is about the poorest customer service I have ever seen in my entire life. If you look up the definition of incompetence in the dictionary, you'll find a perfect definition like this. This is absolute incompetence. So here are the things I think TrackPhone needs to change, and they need to change quite a bit. Number one, there are way too many phone menus on your customer service line. That needs to change. Two, your live chat doesn't work. I don't care what you claim, I'm telling you it doesn't work. I tried it, I got kicked off four times in a row. After that, that doesn't work. You need to get more fluent English speakers on your customer service lines. I cannot tell you the hassle I had to go through. Okay. And the computers, oh my gosh, their computers don't work. I'm not kidding you. I cannot tell you how many times they had to resubmit my information to get anything to work. That is no joke. It was ridiculous. And why is it that every single time... Now, I understand security questions. That's perfectly okay. I understand that. I really do. But, when I have to keep giving you my name, my address, my phone number, my email address, and all these wonderful SIM card numbers, over and over again, that is ridiculous. Don't you guys keep any notes at all? Apparently not. That should be in my notes. But it wasn't. And that's wrong. Alright. And to stand there and tell me that you've just typed all this information in and you have to now resubmit it? Are you kidding me? Oh, and the quality of your phone conversations with me. Oh, let's get into that one, shall we? Half the time I couldn't hear you. It was bad enough you didn't speak very good fluent English, but on top of that, half the time I couldn't hear you at all. That's wrong. Now then. And the compensation? They gave me, I think it was roughly 30 minutes worth of extra air time and five extra days of service. I've been out of a phone now for almost a month. That is no joke. They should give me much better than that. And they, and after all this was said and done, they keep telling people they can transfer your phone number from one to the next. They couldn't do it in my case. That's wrong. That was my phone number. Why couldn't you do it? What, what is your big computer error? You need to fix that. That's not my problem. That's yours. Okay? And then, to tell me that the new phone I have has a SIM card. I, I go out to the store, I pay 20 bucks for a brand new phone, and you're telling me that the SIM card that came with that box doesn't work? 
That's that's absolutely inexcusable. Totally. This is by far the worst customer service I have ever seen out of any company that I've ever had to work with. Period. And you know what the worst part about all this is? I was planning to take a trip this weekend because it's my birthday tomorrow. I'm not kidding you. Tomorrow is my birthday. And I have just spent the last month getting my phone to, to work again. Oh yes, finally it works. After a month's worth of aggravation. I was surprised I was able to keep my minutes and I was able to keep my number of service days. That really surprises me. Track phone, I expect more out of you than this. I should get far better compensation for what I... Do you realize how many people I'm going to have to call now to tell them my new track phone number? Do you have any clue? What a birthday. Anyway. Hopefully they will make appropriate compensation for all this. We'll find out. Alright, this is Ted the Speed Learner. I'm going to tell you more in a future video, so I want you to stay tuned.